Mr. Avalanche Tech here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own 20th Century Fox uh, animation. I have two over here that I have. You guys have seen this one, and you guys have not seen this one yet, but the one that you just saw playing as the intro was actually this one right over here. I just took, a, took it, just uh, edited it a little bit using Windows Movie Maker, and then used the rest on Camtasia, which I'm using right over here. And uh, as you can, as you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of different like thingies that I have here. I didn't get time to clean up my desktop before actually recording, but this is the progressive commercial. If you guys ever seen this one, it was playing that like weird music in the background. And I started to just take it and make it an instrumental. So uh, yeah, and so I'll be showing you guys how to make one of these. So oh wait, hold on. So virtually, what you have to do is download Blender. Doesn't really matter what version of it that you want. And then there's like four different ones of these plus uh, all this stuff but this actually sounds different because I have the 2009 movie version that's I think no it's either, it's either 2009 or something different but no 2013 actually it sounds a lot better it doesn't sound like the high pitched one like from 2009 and these take a, these take a long time to load except maybe this one and this one this one these two took around like I'd say 36 hours but that's just my computer and these two over here well I don't really know but this one right over here the 2009 one took around five days it was a really long time and so I wasn't really able to upload for that entire time I was just uploading it but it actually took around two weeks because I kept on canceling it by accident well actually once I did my computer shut down another time it's a lot of chaos but it's all worth it at the end so just download blender and I recommend using the template 2 one right over here no actually not this one my bad hold on um, this one right over here the first template one down here <coughs> and just give it a second to load and so here it is right over here, you guys can see it, and I hope if I will just play it right over here, this is what it's going to look like. These are lights right over here. This is, uh, this is another light. The sky won't look like this, it's going to be like an orangish color, I think, I don't really remember. Other light. Um, and this is the entire thing, so I'm just going to pause it. And so to edit it, all you're going to have to do is go over here, right click it, click tab, and then you can change the text to whatever you want, so I'm just going to write not even that, Mr. And as you guys can see, it looks really, really big. I'm just gonna take out the TH real quick. And so as you guys can see, it looks really, really big. So just right click it, and then you can use this red thing to make it smaller, and this green thing to make it shorter. And then just go down to Century. I'm not Mr. Century Fox. And then as you guys will see in a second, Avalanche goes straight off the screen, or off of this pedestal thingy. I don't know what it is. And so what you can do is just make it shrink right there. And no, I'm not gonna make it smaller. Go down to Fox, take it out, click in Tech. And that's pretty much ideal size, but I'm just gonna make it a little tiny bit small. There we go. So now we have the entire animation. So if I click this right over here, or just even go back, it's fully changed to my uh, name, as you guys can perfectly see. And if you want to remove anything, you can just click on one of these, and you can either make it shorter. Or you can just completely remove it or make it a whole bit longer. And I'm just gonna put it right back over here, it doesn't really matter. And that's pretty much how you do it. So once you're done with that, you can just go over to render and then render animation. But I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna save over the file that I have in here. And I don't wanna have to do that. So that's pretty much how you do that. So that's pretty much how you do that. You can just render the image, do whatever you want with it. And so that's pretty much how you guys would make a Blender render animation. And you can make your own 20th Century Fox logo. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. So leave a like if this helped you. I will leave the link to, in the description to download all this stuff. And it will be by uh, some guy named Ballyweg. He's a really good guy. He makes all sorts of different animations using Blender, including the Universal logo the MGM one, all sorts of other stuff, so leave a like if this helped you, comment, subscribe if you're having any problems, and all the problems that you have, it could be uh, found right over here, so yeah, leave a like, subscribe, etc, etc, and I will see you guys in my next video, thanks for watching.